What up, guys? The Bench Buddies are back with my March Madness Thursday preview and picks. Hit that subscribe button down below to be entered in our giveaway at 500 subscribers and be up to date with all of the March Madness. We'll jump into it. The first game of the tournament, of the big tournament, Michigan State, Mississippi State. I think this is a great game to kick off the tournament. Both of these teams did just enough to get into the tournament and they're fighting to move on. And I'm going with the Spartans of Michigan State because history possibly might repeat itself in this one. Michigan State has played well as a lower seed, well, higher seed technically, when they make deeper runs besides the year that they probably would have went deep with Cassius Winston, but the one with COVID. And Mississippi State, I think, is another team that could possibly make a deep run if both these teams can get past North Carolina. And I just like the Spartans here just because of the experience of Izzo. Could be his last year. Nobody really knows. And the Spartans just bring that experience with Tyson Walker. I think Walker will have a big game in this one, and the Spartans move on. At 1240, this is a game where I think could be a coin flip. BYU, really, as a nine and a half favorite, I'm definitely going the other way in that one. And I'm going that way because a lot of things have just been leading towards an 11 6 upset here. And you know why I'm going with them? I can't even pronounce their name. But, I mean, that's a reason. Dequeens, Dequeens. I think I, I don't even want to keep trying. But that's why I'm picking them, not just because of their name, but they're a good basketball team. The way they got in the tournament is crazy to me on uh, just having to make that run to get in. And BYU is a team that has been very inconsistent this year in the Big 12. And for those reasons, I'm pulling off my first upset. At 1.30, you've got Creighton, Akron. I think Akron will compete in the first half in this one, but Cockbrenner is going to be too hard to guard in this one. And Creighton, I think, is going to walk away with a double-digit victory. Staying away from that 13-point line, though, because uh, that is right where those, you know, the blowouts, I want to say blowouts happen, but normally it's not too much of a blowout, at least in the first round when these teams get their feet wet. At two, at TBS, I think you're going to get a big blowout in this one. I know Long Beach State, 21-14, to 14, their coach is done after this year. But Arizona with Caleb Love, my goodness, this team is dangerous. They're favored by 20 and a half. And Arizona, I think they're one of those teams as a two seed that could possibly make a run and end up winning this whole thing. And to start that path, they got to win this one. So I'm going with the Wildcats. Then I was talking about North Carolina. I think Wagner possibly can cover in this one. Win? I don't think so. I mean, we saw that last night on Tuesday, that they played some good basketball out of their comfort zone, actually. Normally, they're a slow-paced team, defense first, but last night, they were just all offense, really switching up the tempo, almost blew it at the end, but escaped with a victory. The North Carolina coming in as the one seed, uh, not giving enough credit in my books as being a one seed. Baycott has been sensational this year, and I think North Carolina easily moves on here. Then at 310, you have Moorhead State, Illinois. Now, this game... Could go either way, at least from a spread standpoint. I think Illinois and Terrence Shannon Jr. is going to be too much to match at the end of the game. But that 11 and a half for me is standing out for Moorhead State. I think this team can compete at least for the first half and I think early in the second. It's just those last eight minutes of the game is going to be determined by how hot Illinois is shooting in this game. And if they're, you know, anywhere around 50, 55 percent, I think Illinois walks away from within this one with an easy win. But that 11 and a half, I think, is a tough number. At four, Oregon did just enough to get into the tournament, winning the Pac-12 tournament to get in. And South Carolina, it's a sensational year, getting them a six seed. No one really saw them coming. And for those reasons, I'm going with the Gamecocks. I think they're going to move on here. You know, we saw them just, what, a little less than six, seven years ago. They made a run, uh, made a Final Four run, South Carolina. And Oregon, they're a team that can go deep into tournaments because they've had previous success under their head coach. So this this game, I think, is a great game to watch to see if you think a Cinderella team or a, a higher seed can make a run. I would definitely look at this game, and that's why that spread is so close. 430, another one of those games that I think this is just a great matchup. Mountain West, A-10 matchup. Both of these teams definitely not going to get enough media coverage the whole year until this March Madness. And both these teams have been great this year, 26 and 7, 24 and 7. I'm going with the Wolfpack because the Wolfpack of Nevada have played in a tougher conference this year. They've been great all year. Really only a few stumble ups, but against the top teams in their conference. Where Dayton, when they've lost, they've lost to some lower end teams in the A-10. Obviously didn't win their conference tournament as well. So I think Nevada here has a slight edge just because of the better competition they've played. Colorado State, Texas, I think Texas is a very underwhelming year. 
for what we expected. Colorado State, the Rams, destroyed Virginia by 25, which I didn't think Virginia should have been in, but that's for a whole another story. And the Rams and the Mountain West are going to move on as well in this one to the round of 32 because I have them pulling off a 10-7 upset. Colorado State has looked great. They've made it to the tournament the last few years and had a little, little to none success. But I think that changes here. They're going to get two wins in this year's tournament to at least start it off. 7-10, Kentucky, Oakland. And I think if you're looking for a high seed upsets of three, this might be your game, a 14 over three. Oakland, Kentucky, but Rob Dillingham is going to be too much for the Oakland Grizzlies here. Dillingham, you know, since he has joined Kentucky, been a whole different Kentucky team. I know they have been susceptible of upset losses and getting bounced early under Calipari, but I think at least for the first round, they move on here uh, because of Rob Dillingham's performance. At 725, I have another big upset, my biggest upset here so far, McNeese State taking down Gonzaga, and Gonzaga only favored by six and a half. Shows you how good this McNeese State team is. 30 and three this year. Will Wade, the coach, former coach of LSU, took this program from nothing to a 30-win team in his first year. And they're playing good under him, to say the least. This McNeese State team, no joke. I thought when Michigan lost to him early in the season, I'm like, who are we losing to? But turns out McNeese State, very good basketball team. And they're going to get a huge upset here, upsetting Gonzaga. 7.35, you get the South Dakota State Jackrabbits taking on Iowa State. One of my favorite picks to win it all this year. Iowa State looking awesome heading into this tournament, winning the Big 12 tournament, playing some good basketball in February and March to get them that two seed. Possible case for the one seed, but apparently committee was not even close on that. And I like the Cyclones to move on here. I just think they dominate in all facets of the game. Moving to the 9-20 game, St. Peter's, Tennessee. Wouldn't it be funny if they just did it again? 15 seed makes a run. You know, I don't think it's going to happen here in this one, Tennessee and Dalton Kinnett. I mean, if he gets going, no stopping this guy. Dalton Kinnett has been an absolute beast this year. Turned himself into a top 10 pick after nobody really knew his name heading into this year. But this year, he's put his name on the map, put Tennessee in a great position here to make a nice run. 9-40. On uh, CBS, NC State, Texas Tech, a game that I think is going to go under the radar in the first round, at least on Thursday. Because NC State, you know, what they had to do, win five in a row to get here to win the ACC championship to get into the tournament. They did that. Texas Tech is kind of stumbling into the tournament here at 23 and 10. And for those reasons, I'm going to NC State here. They're just figuring out ways to win games. The March Magic has already favored them in the ACC tournament. And I think it continues here in the first round. A big upset as well on Thursday. I'm going Samford over Kansas. And yeah, I'm not afraid to pick a few upsets here. You know, I'm, I'm thinking a little bit here with my head as well. Kevin McCullough Jr., big loss for the tournament for Kansas. Hunter Dickinson can't do it all. And that seven points for Kansas, 100% I am taking the Samford spread at plus seven. Uh, the money line, I think it's, it's kind of my far out pick here so if this were to happen what i'm saying sanford is going to be playing mcneese state in the round of 32 with a chance to the sweet 16 if both those teams can advance but it's just going to come down to sanford if they can play their game how they want to dictate this game early and often i think sanford loki might run away with this one uh in the second half just because you know the guard play has been questionable they don't have that much depth kansas this year sanford they're more of a team good team chemistry and that goes a long way in march and then the last game for thursday Drake, Washington State, the Drake Bulldogs earning themselves a 10 seed this year, 12 last year, 10 seed this year. And then they get Washington State, which out of the Pac-12, they're one of those middle tier teams uh, this year out of the Pac-12. And I like Drake here. I know Drake's the 10 seed, but they're favored by a point and a half. This game is going to come down to the last second. I just think that these two teams match up very well against each other. And, you know, if you're staying up for the whole thing, this one might take a while because this one might go to OT but I like the Drake, Drake Bulldogs to pull this one out that's gonna be it for my Thursday first round preview and picks come back tomorrow for my Friday picks as well and then we'll be doing a video on Saturday and Sunday for the round of 32 but until the next time the bench buddies are out